Hello, welcome to the virtual class. My name is Daniela. In this class, we will see Unit 3 with the topic I am not my hair. Let's start with the main topic. What do you understand of the sentence I am not my hair? This phrase is an idiom that which can be translated as my hair or physique does not define me as a person. We are all different. Some people are tall, short, thin, fat, with straight hair or curly hair. These characteristics do not define a person. Judging people by their appearance is not okay. We frequently use people's appearance to form our judgment about them and to determine our responses to them. Our stereotypes about physical attractive people lead us to see them are more dynamic, sexually warm, mentally healthy, intelligent, and socially skilled than we perceive physical and attractive people. And our stereotypes lead us to treat people differently. In addition to stereotypes about physical attractiveness, we also regularly stereotype people on the basis of their sex, race, age, religion, and many other characteristics. And these stereotypes are frankly negative. Stereotyping is unfair to the people we judge because stereotypes are based on our preconceptions and negative emotions about the members of the group. Stereotyping is closely related to prejudice. We use our stereotypes and prejudice in part because they are easy if we can quickly size up people on the basis of their physical appearance then can save us a lot of time and effort. Stereotyping and prejudice and discrimination work together. For example, we may not vote for a gay person for public office because of our negative stereotypes about gays. And we may avoid people from other religions or those with mental illness because of our prejudice. Regardless of the appearance of a person, we do not know what that person is going through or their life history. For this reason, we cannot judge any person. In this topic, we can use an idiom. Do you know what is an idiom? Idioms are a type of figurative language, which means they are not always meant to be taken literally. Idioms express particular sentiment, but they do not literally mean what the individual words themselves mean. In this unit, we will see these two idioms that are related with the topic. One, you can judge a book by its cover. The English idiom, don't judge a book by this cover, is a metaphorical phrase that means one shouldn't prejudge the word or value of something by its outward appearance alone. For example, that man may look very small and insignificant, but don't judge a book by its cover. He is a very powerful man in his circle. Two, to walk a mile in someone else's shoes. The admonition to walk a mile in someone else's shoes means before judging someone, you must understand his experiences, challenges, through process. For example, you may feel different if you were in his shoes. Pretend you are in Tom's place and then try to figure it out why he acts the way he does. Let's review vocabulary that can be used when you try to know a person. Education level, the highest level of school or college that a person has attended. Examples, elementary school, middle school, high school, college, master, married 
or single, whether someone has a like person. Language, the language that a person speaks or grew up speaking. Complexion, the brightness of someone's skin color. Example, a dark complexion, a light complexion. Hair or skin color, the natural color of someone's hair or skin. Clothing, clothes that people like to wear, body art, tattoos. Political party, the group of people that someone associates with for election and other political activities. Favorite sport, the sport that someone likes the most. Favorite team, the sport team that someone likes the most. Let's see ground. Broader range of intensifiers. So, such, to, enough. So, plus adjective. It is so cold today. So, plus adverb. I have so much work to do today. Such, plus adjective. They are such a nice family. Such, plus noun. You are such a genius. Two, plus adjective. Our next door neighbors are too noisy. Two, plus adverb. You walk too fast. Enough, plus noun. We don't have enough toilet paper. Adjective, verb, plus enough. Are you comfortable enough? Now let's see phrasal verbs. Are very common in English, especially in more informal contexts. They are made up of a verb and particle or sometimes two particles. The particle often change the meaning of the verb. Example. I called Jen to see how she was. Call to telephone. Separable. With the separable phrasal verbs, the verb and particle can be apart or together. Example. They have called the meeting up. Noun separable. Some phrasal verbs cannot be separate. Example. Who looks after the baby when you are at work with two particles. Phrasal verbs with two particles are also inseparable. Even if you use a pronoun, you put it after the particles. Example, who come up with that idea? Come up with, think of an idea or plan. Now let's see phonology with it. Demanded, affected, adopted. Let's practice with the vocabulary. In this multiple choice, you should identify which word they are referring to. 1. Whether someone has a life partner, language, political party, married or single. 2. Brightness of someone's skin color, complexion, hair or skin color, language. 3. The highest level of a school or college that a person has attended. A kind of clothing, education level, political party. Job, you did well. Thanks for watching this video. I hope the video helps you to learn more.